What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Rideshare Hub. My name's Greg. Uh, man, tough times. Hope you guys are staying safe, being really careful. Um, this is a continuation of a video I did. And what I'm going over is some of the biggest questions with this stimulus bill. Uh, this affects us drastically. I really hope you've heard about this by now. If you haven't, just keep listening. I'll fill you in on a lot of it just by answering these questions. But um, this is huge, 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 huge. Massively impactful for us drivers. One of the first things that's ever really worked in our favor. So I've been doing a lot of videos on it because I want to make sure you guys are super informed on what's going on, how you can get as many benefits and as much money as you can through this. And, you know, essentially how we can make it through these times together. So let's dive right in. Uh, one of the first questions is do Uber and Lyft drivers need to stop driving to qualify? The answer is yes, because um, to be entitled to the unemployment insurance benefits or whatever you call it, you have to be able to prove that you stopped working because of everything that's going on. So you have to be able to show. And uh, hypothetically, I don't know how this process works. So maybe, maybe there's more to this. But hypothetically, the only thing that's going to really show if you stopped working or not is I don't know if they would check your bank deposits to see if you were getting money coming in or if they would check your Uber and Lyft app to see if you were or weren't giving rides, but I would count on either of those things happening. So um, I would stop driving. Now, I've heard some people say that they're only going to check the apps. So hypothetically, you could say you just drove for Lyft and keep driving for Uber. I wouldn't risk it because I've if you guys haven't heard, they're talking $600 a week and a stipend along with that. I wouldn't risk anything for $4 an hour or whatever you guys are even making now, driving right now. Um, I did talk to a guy the other day here in Phoenix, and he told me that his rides are only down about like two-thirds. So he's still getting one-third of the rides, which he said for him actually works, which... It's kind of shocking to me because I was like, okay, if you're making 20 an hour, I mean, what you're talking, like seven bucks an hour you're making, maybe less, give or take, you know, that, I don't know why that math is so hard for me to figure out, <laughs> like 20 divided by three, even just a rough estimate. Anyways, um, so maybe for some of you, it's not that bad. Regardless, I have no doubt in my mind that you're going to make more getting money from the government. Um, Dylan said this to me the other day and, I, and he was just like, essentially they're throwing a bone for everyone, you know? And I was like, yeah, it really is a great analogy. They really are just throwing a bone for everyone, you know? So take it, you know? Uh, all I've really, the only reason I would say to not take it is if you are like so set on money that you don't need six, seven hundred bucks a week from the government. I would doubt that's like 99.9% .9 of Uber and Lyft drivers because I feel like we all need money. Uh, Uber and Lyft is an awesome little side gig, but in reality, if you're paying a bulk of your bills doing it, you're barely getting by. Everyone I know that does it full time is barely getting by unless, you know, they've got a spouse that's making money, they got money saved up, they have another thing on the side, but like, if you were like me, where I was this single guy with my own apartment, no other business ventures, and I was just full-time driving, I was barely making it every month, even putting in 50 hours a week sometimes. So that being said, my guess is we all need this money, you know? And so that's why I've been telling you guys in every single video, like you might as well just stop, take the bone, take the money. You might have some risk for a month or two until the checks get here. But guess what? Pretty much everyone's forgiving debt right now. Um, you're not going to get evicted. You're not going to get utilities shut down. The only thing you need to pay, pay, pay for and really be on top of is getting food, which how different is that? And how much do you really need to spend on food a week? I feel like I eat a ton and I, may, I feel like my grocery bill is like, like 100 to 150 bucks a week, if, if even, sometimes less. You know, it depends what I'm doing. But like... I really feel like the only necessary bill right now is groceries, you know? So just know that with everything else, there's going to be a lot of forgiveness or a lot of patience with when you get it paid, you know? So 
I would say quit driving, take the risk, you know, take the money. Let's move on though. Um, second question, <sighs> what benefits do Uber and Lyft drivers get from the stimulus bill? So we don't know too much about this too. And the reason why this question is showing up is because a lot of you that have done your research have understood that there's, it's beyond just $600 a week. There's a stipend that's listed, a weekly stipend that supposedly we would get along with the 600. And there's other benefits they're saying. There's possibilities of, um, well, the last thing I heard is that we might get compensated for not having health insurance or you will get some form of health insurance. So that's another little benefit. I don't know the validity on that. That's only something I just heard, I think, yesterday. Um, a lot of these benefits we don't know a lot about yet, so I can't really answer that question, but there are going to be some form of benefits that will be unveiled to us. And I honestly feel like after this, it might be something that goes on moving forward for us because I think it's really been highlighted the lack that we have as um, gig economy workers. So... Alrighty, do Uber, Lyft, gig workers qualify for unemployment benefits? What does it entail, et cetera, et cetera? The easiest and simplest answer to that question is yes, we are entitled to it. Um, really, the only thing you need to show to be entitled is that you stopped driving in fear of getting sick or getting someone else sick. I, don't, I can't remember if I mentioned that already, but that is really all you need to prove that you're that and and to show that you're entitled to benefits um there and there's nothing else they can really do so i haven't heard how they'll actually check this i don't think this is something they've even figured out yet but my honest guess is that they're either going to have you submit bank deposit forms or they're going to have you um uh, submit maybe some some logs from your driving history from like the last three months just so that they can really see when you stopped driving and if you stopped anywhere in January moving forward I'm pretty sure you're going to be fine because that's about when we started hearing about all this mess and um, if you stopped at any point and then you would simply just say when you're fine filling out the application like yeah I stopped on this date and I stopped because I knew the, that things were getting crazy and I didn't want to risk it. You know, I'm picking people up from the airport and they're wearing masks. It started to scare me. It's a very easy thing to sell, even if you didn't stop for those reasons. I'm not encouraging you to do that. I've only ever encouraged people to take this if they really need it. But I have been pretty open that I think everyone who drives Uber and Lyft probably needs it. So regardless if you stop for those reasons... Um, it's going to be very easy to say that you stopped for those reasons, even if you didn't. Um, but I don't know too many people who honestly did not especially if you stopped somewhere in January through March, you probably did stop for those reasons. I was getting kind of sick of driving. And when that started coming up, that was when I did like my final, I quit video, which <laughs> I get a lot of flack for those. Cause there's been like six of them, <laughs> but it's been a lot of times I thought about quitting, but I really, really like quit, quit when that happened. Um, so yeah, what are we at? Uh, creeping up on time. Let's see. Um, this was another one. I'll just combine this just because it's pretty much the same as the last one. But how do you know if you qualify for unemployment? And again, reiterating pretty much what I said in the last video. Hopefully I killed two birds with one stone here. You qualify, basically the easiest way to say it is if you can prove that you stopped driving anywhere from January through the current times. Um, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. The only thing I'm gonna say, uh, I've been giving these tips in every video, but regarding the $1,200 stimulus check, that is separate. That's just because you're a living, breathing human being in the United States of America. Uh, to get that, all you have to do is file your taxes. If you haven't filed yet, file today. There's no reason not to. Um, if you have Uber Gold benefits, which is like 90% of drivers, I'm sure, you get a really awesome discount on TurboTax, self-employed. It's like $120 off, which is what it costs to file is $120 for the independent contractor package. So. 
you get to file and it makes it really, really, really easy for free. Um, a lot of people have been telling me that, you know, they didn't file, but what they did is they filed and they did the best they could. Um, maybe they didn't record well enough. Um, and then they chose the option at the end. This is actually really helpful if you haven't filed yet. That's why I'm saying that they chose the option at the end to just say that they would send a check of what they owed by July. So that's the option. If you're scared about owing money, don't worry. Do the, do the TurboTax program, get your package for free, and then just click that option when you're done, and then you won't have to pay that money until way after you've gotten the check anyways. Um, you shouldn't really, if, you, if you've taken care of any of everything, you should only owe about 50 bucks or so. Um, and a lot of people I know, they're very particular. They don't end up paying anything. So I'm not an accountant. I'm not looking to give you guys tax advice. Um, that's just my experience. So take it with a grain of salt. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon.